My name is Deacon George Wonderlick, and I'm here for those Catholic men. Today we need to really focus on one of the most important days of our liturgical year, Palm Sunday. There's so much meaning wrapped up in this one day, and you can almost see the scene in your mind if you're willing to. Christ triumphantly coming into Jerusalem with a group of 12 clueless followers. Clueless, I say, because he's been trying to tell them what's going to happen in Jerusalem. He's been trying to convey to them that he must suffer, that he must die. And they haven't been willing to get it or haven't been able quite to get their mind wrapped around it. They understand him at this point to be the Messiah. They get it. And yet they don't. And neither do the people on the street, because in all of this triumphal tumult, people waving branches, laying them on the street along with flowers to pave his way as he rides in on a donkey, they are celebrating the king. But they got the wrong king. They're looking at Jesus as David, a man who will lead the Israelite armies against Caesar, who will return the power of Israel back to what it once was, to unify them militarily. They do not see him as the savior of souls. They do not see him as the prince of peace. They want him to be the king of war. As we begin our week moving in towards the, uh, the triduum, this is going to be a vitally important message for us to keep in the back of our mind. What do we see Jesus as? What is he to us? Is he our savior? Our brother? Our king? Our God? Because he's certainly all of those things. There are times when, like the crowds in our relation, we are ready to praise him above the heavens. And there are other times in our dryness when he's not so easy to see that we can fall away from him and even fall into sin. Those crowds that are standing there today on the streets of Jerusalem singing his praises will be the very same crowds who just in a few short days will be yelling crucify him and give us Barabbas. And that's us. Because in our sin, that is what we are saying. This is a time for us to reflect on our own transition, if you will, our transition from Lent as we begin to prepare for Easter. This is our time to complete our time of self-examination, to go into the triduum looking for the Savior that is actually there, looking for the Savior of souls, he who will put upon us his ultimate mercy and allow us everlasting life. And it is our last opportunity in this Lent to set aside ourselves, to set aside our sinfulness, to see him as the savior of the world, and so as to prepare ourselves for the celebration of the Paschal Feast coming up in just one short week. For those Catholic men, I'm Deacon George. Thank you so much.